All righty, today is all about slope. Remember that is change in y, or change in y over change in x. Okay. Remember that is change in y over change in x. Okay. So from a graph, we kind of did this um, last class, but just so you know, right, we are drawing our lines. And then we are counting boxes, but keeping in mind what our um, lines are going by, right? What our axes are going by. That way, if we say it's three, but our axes are going by six, we really say, oh, that's 18. You know what I mean? Something like that. Maybe you are the person that's like, Ms. Sherman, like once you add in that whole thing, like I can't. But maybe you are very, very good at writing down points, right? And doing things like that. If that's you, then you could do this slope from two points piece. And then um, using that slope from two points piece is going to be how we do it from a table. So those are three examples of what we're doing today, but we are going to start with slope from a graph. All right. So again, look, they give you the points, which is kind of nice, but I'm going to connect these two dots, connect these two dots, right? And then I'm going to count boxes. So this is one, two, three, four, five, six. But notice these lines are going by tens. So if it's six boxes going by 10 a piece, that's really 60. And then this is one, two, three, four. And that is going by ones. So that is one. And again, look, 90 to 30 is 60, 2 to 6 is 4. So remember, we do our y over our x. So we are going to do 60 over 4. And if you put in Desmos or you just know what that is, 60 divided by 4 is 15. So that basically, in context of this problem, right, is $15 money per hour. Okay. So doing the same thing on number two, notice how number two doesn't have any dots on the graph, right? Like that makes it a little bit harder. So what I always tell students is you're going through the graph and you're looking where does that graph touch corners of boxes. So like see how these two lines meet and like that would be a corner of the boxes. That's what I mean. So I'm going to zoom in real fast on this one, just so that way you can see a little bit more of what I mean by that. So do you see how right here that doesn't touch corners, that doesn't touch corners, that doesn't touch corners, that touches corners? Nope, 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 yes. So that's what I mean by touching corners. Okay, so now I'm going to zoom that back out. And so from here, right, we can do our regular connect the two. And this is one, two, three boxes going by one. So we're good with three. And this is one, two boxes. So that's two. And then from there, right, we would put y over x, which would be 3 over 2. And as a whole, both these graphs go up, so they are a positive slope. I want you to try 3 and 4 using the same method and see how you do. Welcome back. So this one, right, one, two, three, four, and five, going by one, so we get five. One, two, three, going by one, so it is three. So is five over three. And then it does say, what does the slope mean? So that means it is going up five feet.